Hey y'all. Today I want to do an unboxing of a cross car trailer. I like to do unboxings but I'd rather do it on things that haven't been unboxed a thousand times already and I couldn't find an unboxing for this particular trailer so I thought I might as well go ahead and do it. Now some of my more observant viewers will notice that this is not a trailer. This is actually a truck. This is the cross PG4L dually that I just finished a couple of weeks ago. But since it was the inspiration for getting the trailer in the first place, I thought it was appropriate to start with it. And the thing that really stood out about this that inspired the whole thing was this truck came with trailer hitch. What's the point of having a trailer hitch if you don't have a trailer? So got looking into it and that led me to this is the Cross RC T006 double axle car trailer kit. Um, since it's also from Cross, I figured it's going to go with the truck. Looked like a decent kit, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Now, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't spend just a little bit of time on the box, since there isn't a whole lot inside as far as parts goes to look at. So, we'll go ahead and zoom in on the different features that you get. Everybody's got a pause button. As we find out here in a bit, this is pretty good sized. According to this, we're 740 millimeters from the tip of the tongue out to the tail lights. So that is pretty good sized. And now we'll get into it. This is going to be double blind. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet. Let's see what we got. Instruction manual, of course, really basic. Not a whole lot to it. Probably doesn't really need to be a whole lot to it. I would imagine this isn't going to be anywhere near as in-depth as a truck kit would be. So, starting right out, I guess we can move this. We have the tongue. Now, right off, it looks like this is probably Delrin material, maybe. And it's got a pintle type hitch. So it's not like a ball coupler. This just has the round part in the hitch that goes into the pin. And it's got a jack. Looks like that's probably supposed to rotate. See how that works out. We got some diamond plate, 3M adhesive back, of course. Imagine that's going to be the deck. We have looks to be a toolbox, and if you can see that, it's got a little hasp or a latch there on either side. That's kind of a nice detail. And some double sticky tape and some nuts and spacers. And it looks like, as typical for Cross, it came with a light kit. So I'm guessing we're going to have brake lights, tail lights, and it's got turn signals too. So there's more things to wire in somewhere. Then we get down to the trailer itself. Now they called this a kit, but basically it looks like the springs and the axles are already mounted up. And again, this could be Delrin, could be an ABS. Either way, it looks like really stiff, heavy, rugged plastic. And as you can tell, that's pretty good sized. That should handle just about any RC that I've got. And of course, as I've come to expect from Cross, it looks pretty well designed and really well built. That doesn't leave a whole lot, except for tires and wheels. Now let's go ahead and see one here. These look like your basic maybe 90 millimeter 1.9s. A little on the skinny side. Of course, they're trailer tires, so they should be it looks like 
it's got a, a bearing in where the axle goes. Looks like about the same scale hardware as the truck wheels and tires are mounted with. And of course it's marked on the side wall. This is a 7825R15.5. And it seems to be pretty decent. And lo and behold, since it's a double axle, we've got four of them. So for this one, this is going to get a stainless steel look. So we're going to go with the good old Rust-Oleum double coverage paint and primer metallic. And we'll see what that looks like. That's about it. Nothing else to it. I think it's going to be good. Thanks for watching.